with bringing you the latest in intermediate school news. Next week, everyone get out your green for green day. We are starting a new series this week. Miss Larkin and the After School Focus Kids will, bring, will be helping us learn about good nutrition. You ever wonder how many germs are spread around throughout the day? We're going to take a look at this clip from Mythbusters to show you how contaminated we actually get. One nearby has a runny nose. Can they spread their snot to you just by being close? <laughs> to find out, the Mythbusters are throwing a party. Three of my guests are going to behave as germaphobes. Three of my guests have no idea what's happening. I will be spreading my nasal secretions far and wide while performing a series of normal party-like tasks. Cake, toasts, games, what have you. At the end of all of this, we're going to flick out the lights, turn on the ultraviolet lights, and see how far I've been able to spread my secretions. <laughs> on me alone, normally my skin would not fluoresce under black light. Are you ready? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Adam may look like a radioactive clown, but has he spread his radioactive red snot? <laughs> First off, the unknowing guest guinea pigs. Leah, let's see those hands. Hold them up into the light. Oh, yeah. They all bear the telltale signs of contamination. But what about our germaphobe trio? Despite their best efforts, Grant and Tori couldn't escape the neon. Grant, let's see those I hands. I avoid shaking your hand. Tori? Oh, Tori. You got it. Did we, we, got it on we sneak here? off somewhere? Tori has even ended up with snot on his face. We had a very special interview to share with you. Two of our, two of our on the spot roofing reporters went over to the city hall. They interviewed the new mayor, Mayor Buckley. Let's hear what our new mayor has to say. Hi, my name is Mia. And my name is Arthur. We are here at city hall to interview the new mayor, Mayor Buckley. Let's go. We are almost ready for the mayor of Munchkinland to meet the mayor of Hornell. We are now here at Mayor Buckley's office. My name is Mia. My name is Arthur. We are here to interview you. The first question is, why did you want to be mayor? Why did I want to be mayor? Well, um, I wanted to be mayor because I enjoy public service. And uh, I, I served on the city council for eight years, and I was a deputy mayor for four years and I just love helping people. What did you hope to accomplish? Well, I hope to accomplish a lot. I, I hope to uh, provide a, an atmosphere where uh, you know, businesses come to the city and we can provide jobs so, so when you and your classmates grow up and graduate from high school and college, you'll, there's, there'll be jobs here and reason for you to stay in the city. And how did it feel to be elected? It, it felt great. It was, uh, it, it's, a, it's hard to run a campaign and uh, it's a long process and there's lots of emotional ups and downs that go with it. It puts a lot of stress on myself and my family. So to get across the finish line 
and to win, uh, you know, it's it's like winning, uh, you know, the, the Super Bowl or World Series. What would you like to tell the student at at the school? I would say always always be community minded. Uh, you know, as you're growing up through the intermediate school and you go on to the high school. Always, always look at the community and, and look for ways to serve, uh, whether it's volunteering, um, you know, doing cleanup projects throughout the, the city, uh, you know, helping your neighbors, helping your friends, always, always help those in need. Thank you for letting us in your interview. I'm glad to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Buckley, for taking the time to talk with us. Congratulations to our Respect, Responsibility, and Safety winners. Richard going to fifth grade won the water bottle. Mia Nasca, fourth grade, won the bag. And Katie Penny, sixth grade, won the chance to be in the challenge. Time for the ticket count. And last week, in the last week, 452 tickets were turned in. We now have, wait for it, 6,237 tickets earned. We made yeah. it. The challenge is on, Mr. Daphne. Next week, we will hear, next week, we will hear about the challenge. Keep practicing, respect, responsibility, and safety. All those tickets will count for the next monthly period challenge. This brings an end to our broadcast today. Don't forget to respect those around you and show responsibility in everything we do. You do. We are respectful. We are responsible. We are safe. We, we are, are Red, Red Raiders Strong. Red.